my favorite games to play was kick the can. And we played it by the back porch light. And we would, as soon as you got into the lights, you could be tagged until someone else kicked the can. Uh, but we played that game over and over, night after night, by the back porch light. Uh, maybe you too, like me, had that opportunity. I love, I'm in a beautiful place here with some of our dear friends in, in their lighting store. And they've got all these gorgeous light fixtures. Lights that are of all different kinds. Old lights, new lights, chandelier lights, and single lights. Uh, but there's three really important things about a light. Uh, one is that lights can illuminate an area and help you if you're afraid. If you've got a child and you have a night light to keep them uh, from being afraid. Uh, the other is that they can open up a whole room and they can change the entire atmosphere. And the, the other is that they can really provide warmth and beauty in a place. And these are gorgeous lights, but you know what? There's one big problem with all these lights. They're meant to shine. You too have the light of Christ that's called to live within you. And, and we, when we're in that, we have an opportunity to be a single light that provides that illumination for others to open up the dark places and see the light of Christ. We can also be a part of a group of lights. And if one of those lights is out, uh, it's clearly missing and something is not right. Uh, I'm the light guy in my house and any lights that are out, it's my responsibility to make sure they get changed that day. Especially if it's in a chandelier and you have a group of lights and one of them's not doing its job. Our hope is that as we move from the dark places to the light places, because the light of Christ lives in us, is that we would illuminate, create beauty, and that we together would open up the path for others to see. I hope today that whether you're playing kick the can by the back porch light, that old light, or you're in a beautiful new place with incandescence, or you have the opportunity to, to see light come alive in different ways, that you would do one key thing. You'd shine and let the light of Christ shine through you. God bless you.